The GHSA Basketball State Championships are brought to you by Georgia Power, a citizen wherever we serve. Who's the best boy? Want to watch some TV? Look, your favorite. You know, your dog doesn't really care if the TV is on. When you think about it, saving energy means saving money. That's why Georgia Power has tips, tools, and rebates to help you be more efficient. For smart, easy ways to save money and energy, visit georgiapower.com. The GHSA Basketball State Championships are brought to you by Georgia Power, a citizen wherever we serve. Who's the best boy? Want to watch some TV? Look, your favorite. You know, your dog doesn't really care if the TV is on. When you think about it, saving energy means saving money. That's why Georgia Power has tips, tools, and rebates to help you be more efficient. For smart, easy ways to save money and energy, visit georgiapower.com. And welcome aboard for the final showcase of the evening here for the PE Complex for the GHSA presentation of semifinals in the 1A Public Boys Basketball. It's Wilcox County and Hancock Central. The Bulldogs versus the Patriots, 27-0 versus 26 and 23. Going over the starting lineups, and as you can hear, Hancock Central has a loaded crowd out here this evening. Andrew Drew alongside Joe Ward. Starters for you for Hancock. Darius Walker, Jamal Taylor, Leroy Wilson, Travion Creighton, Kennard Chapman. Over on the other side for Wilcox County, it's Jordan Brown, Keyshawn Howard, Desmond Tisdall, Xavion Deans, and Carizabian Marshall. 
It's all about tempo in this game. Wilkinson, no, excuse me, Wilcox wants to get out and run. Hancock Central, I think, is going to want to control it. Both these teams averaging over 72 points per game. So let's not be surprised if it turns into a little bit of a trek. They scored chance. 96 in the last game. Of course, took uh, Wilkinson County to overtime in that matchup. So since 2013, nobody had beaten Wilkinson or Calhoun for the state title. These two teams knocking each one of them off here. Early going, and the conversion starts early for Hancock. That's about as fast as it gets. It's a quick bucket up and in right off the tip here for Hancock Central. Underneath, got stuck in a little bit of traffic. Hancock with the takeaway. The loose ball here is going to go to Travion Creighton. Triple from deep. Oh, oh my brother. goodness. Uh-oh. Right in front of the Wilcox bench, and that was a monster three. Leroy Wilson from NBA range. And Hancock Central is turning the PE complex into a home game. This place is going ballistic already, James. My goodness. We heard the Hancock Central faithful roaring when this game began. We knew they had a big following coming into this matchup. They obviously knocked off the defending champs, Calhoun County, in the last round, and they are looking good. 7 0 run to start the game. This one underneath, another beautiful conversion here for Hancock Central. Underneath, try to feed Wilcox, looking for an answer. Underneath, and it's a foul. Will send number 32, Xavion Deans, to the free throw line. But my goodness, Hancock Central is ready to rock and roll right off the first tip. And they have just been soaring in this one. Free throw attempt off the first one. And they're going to tag up the personal here on Leroy Wilson. Does not go on the first attempt. Second one is you can hear the rumblings for the Bulldog faithful. Rebound back to the Bulldogs. They're in all white with the maroon and gold trim going right to left. And on the other side, the Patriots from Wilcox County in all blue going from left to right with the white numerals, gold trim, and white piping. Take away, poke free. Wilcox gets a turnover. Oh, good spin move going towards the basket and the conversion's up and in. And the Patriots break the deadlock of zero. And Jordan Brown on the bucket. He's averaging 10.4 so far this season. They want their pressure defense to set this up for offense. Triple! But it doesn't help when Hancock Central is going to make him threes. Absolutely. Travion Creighton adding his name to the score sheet. Hancock Central two for two from behind the arc. And the crowd likes the tray ball. If they love the three and the pressure so far this early, if they get a dunk here sometime this game. Roof will blow off this place. <laughs> it might actually blow off. Throwing on over to the far side, trying to work the post. Good move in the paint. And how about that conversion there? Desmond Tisdall, the senior for the basket. And this is a loaded senior ball club. Nine seniors on this Patriot team. They are stacked with experience. Feet underneath, Hancock. With the up and under, beautiful basket. Chapman with the bucket this time around. And nobody home. And a takeaway there, so put it back to an eight-point margin. And we have a stoppage right here. It looks like uh, a whole bunch of substitutions. Yep, platoon coming out here for the Patriots. Eight-point advantage here, 5-26. Here in this ball game, course quarter number one. Turning to attract me behind the back, triple straight away. Hancock, oh my goodness. This, this is, is about as hot a start as you can get. In transition, going the other way. How about the basket with the answer for Jordan Brown? <laughs> Hancock. Well, you gotta remember, these guys scored 96 points Another the other night. one. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Four for four behind the arc, and this is going ballistic. Hancock's taking over the PE complex. The per this has been the perfect storm. Oh my goodness. Everything going down for Hancock. 
I don't know if they missed a shot yet. Uh, I think they missed one. Just the one from inside, but my goodness. But they, they've been perfect from deep. It takes a lot. It and, takes a lot to beat Wilkinson County. They had a 10-point lead going into the fourth. They coughed it up down the stretch, took them to overtime, and like you said, Joe, they had to score 96 to knock off the big dogs. They may need to bust 100 the way <laughs> this is going. Yeah, they could. I mean, we're three minutes into this ball game. They're on pace to break, I think, 140, if my math's correct. Steal for Hancock. It's a run out in transition. Off the glass and down. Hancock already with 20. And we talked about this one turning into a track meet. Travion Creighton already with five. On the foul. other side, it's going to be a foul called. They're going to tag up Chapman for that one. So it's going to be a shooting foul. Tisdale will step to the line. But my goodness. How about the excitement here early? Well, if, you're, if you're Wilcox, you just got to weather the storm because you know they can't, they can't stay on this pace forever. So you think the law of averages does often prevail, Joe. Uh, but the way this one looking is, until further notice, I don't know that I can say that they're going to miss a shot, my man. That one doesn't go. So it's two for two from the stripe. One for two. Excuse me, one for two, my bad. Taking the paint, now dribble it back. As Taylor with this one. And get a hand check. Be a little check in the paint there. So that one's gonna be on the floor. As Jamal Taylor with a hot start so far. Taylor starts with eight. He's got two threes. Creighton's got a three. He's got five. Leroy Wilson, number 30, also a triple. The lone three for him. And we have a hold. Foul was called on Keyshawn Howard. So two team fouls apiece. Thrown on over, tried to rotate it out to Taylor. He's the last one to touch that. So it's Howard and Singletary, the men with fouls for Wilcox. So four and change. We'll get this one rocking and rolling once again. An electric atmosphere for the last game of the night. In the last two, three years, it's always been a treat. The last game of the night lives in infamy up here, Joe. We talk about it on a yearly basis. So far, Hancock giving us an absolute show. Four minutes to go off the missed shot. Good rebound there by Leroy Wilson. Look at a push. And that's another one. Oh, heat check there. Gets his own rebound. Does Taylor. Baseline takes. Going to kick it around for Wilson. Step back. Triple fade away. Off the backboard. Does not go. And a rebound underneath by the big man. Rattles around. Can't get it to go is Lawrence. And so the rebound's going to be poked free. For Wilcox in transition now, looking for a little baseline. Caught up against the basket. That is a really tough shot, but Keyshawn Howard gets it to go. Especially with a Hancock Central defender right there. Absolutely. Patriots answer back. Keep it at 11. Four possession game off the backboard. Does not go there for Creighton. Hits the outlet. Pulls up for the triple. Deep one. College three. Doesn't go, good save, and that one's going to be corralled by Markevious Lawrence of the Bulldogs. Kick on out, Taylor thought of another triple, good fake from the elbow. And got fouled. No basket, but he's going to be heading to the free throw line. And how quick is Taylor? We've seen him throw up the triple, hit it twice already, hit another field goal as well. Beautiful pump fake, fed the defender into that, and really worked defense to get through there so Taylor heading to the free throw strike blasting that one through puts it back up to 12 Taylor he's the one that's 95 percent from the floor amazing no, from the free throw line excuse me amazing 95 percent for the free throw line when's the last time you saw that at a high school level Joe very rarely exactly Sound is for Taylor trying to go again. Two for two at the free throw line. Double digits for Taylor already. And we're not even five minutes into this ball game. 
Now a little three-quarter court pressure coming. Wilcock gets it into the front court to the Patriots. Swing it up top, little drive, kick, triple NBA near three. side for Young, doesn't go. Good powerful rebound by Patterson. Dumps it down baseline, Patterson back on the ball, little hang and bang, draws the contact there from Morris. Does not get the conversion, but he's gonna head to the free throw stripe. Shooting foul, shooting two. Taylor, Joe, averaging 15.6 points per game. Like we said, already has 10. He's on pace for about 50 right now. Mm. We'll see. We'll see if he's able to hold up that pace. Three team fouls aside. Second free throw does not go. And it's tipped out of play. Say last touched by there Wilcox. by Wilcox. It's Demetric Young, senior, number 12. So it's going to be an inbound for the Bulldogs. Trigger man's going to be Jamarcus Morris. Substitution coming in. Carmichael Allen going to come into this one for the Bulldogs. Full court pressure coming for the Patriots. They'll fall back into the half court. And the Bulldogs, steady hand of Jamal Taylor. Like we said, 10 points already. Looks like they just shoot threes almost every time they come down the court. You almost think that. <laughs> yeah. And got a bit of a hand check. And just take to the basket. Taylor gets tagged up there. The way they act like on their offense, they want to sit. They're setting up the three first. They're showing the three first. <laughs> yeah. But you get the feeling it's going to go the other way here eventually. Taylor with a little hang and bang. Taylor draws and the one. contact. Two more for Taylor. He's up to 12 for the ball game. That's a first personal on Young. Goodness gracious. All those threes they hit early, what it does, it brings the defense out and it opens up the inside. Yes, sir. Not necessarily traditional thinking, but productive. Oh, it's very Hancock. productive if you've got the people to do it. Yes, sir. And so far in this game, we've seen Hancock Central has more than enough people to do it. Little hang and bang, does not get the roll. Good rebound by Carmichael Allen, new substitute. So yeah, Allen, and there it comes on the other side. Good crossover, getting into the paint of the free throw line. Oh, up and under, but it's a walk. Tried to pull the old Kobe Bryant there with the shot fake and then split the double team. Got to throw it off the backboard, though, if you're going to finish that one. Tries to step through, and now in possession, Got Patterson, a little too heavy, and so Hancock's going to take it away. That's a travel the violation there. Yeah. Wilson thought he was going to pull it for a second there. I feel like I'm saying that almost every time they go down the court and don't shoot the three. Well, it's like I just said, when they come down and set up in the half court, they're showing they want to shoot three first. <laughs> here, but eventually it's going to go opposite. Patriots beat the press, get into the paint, shot attempt does not go for Tisdale. Tisdale, excuse me. So he'll head to the free throw line. Settle in, he's 0 for 2 so far for the game. The free throw line is the senior, like we said, one of the nine seniors for Wilcox here. Tisdale, second leading scorer on the team, averaging 13 and a half. Senior number 25. Gets the second one. So double digits for Wilcox now. As Tisdale hits the back half of the pairing, and Taylor is so quick. Triple near side, doesn't go. How about the volleyball tip back, and another one, and another one. It's like they're playing taps off the backboard, but Markavius Lawrence gets the putback. Over into the corner, thought about the triple. Now going to give back to the point guard, Brown. Inside the paint, rattles it home, and there's your score. Tisdall able to get the deuce. So crawls it back to a 14-point game. They just need to just bang it inside. It, it looks like they got an advantage. Taylor, give it on out to Wilson. Both those guys look like lethal shooters. Wilson, however. Goodness gracious. Well, you got 
when you got somebody that can shoot it from three like that. Wilson in transition, five straight for Wilson. And this is getting pretty insane for Hancock. Wilson with the rebound, he's doing it on both ends. He's everywhere, Taylor, outlet. Oh, they want to go cross court, they want the three. It's a long two, but they make that one. Oh my goodness, we were wondering if these guys would break 100. Joe, they're on pace to make 120. Wilson with the takeaway, and that is how we end the first half. And my goodness. Wow. If you've ever seen an all-out blitz in basketball, this is about as close as it gets, Joe. I've seen a few, but not like this. <laughs> Unbelievable opening corner for Hancock. He'll go to the break with 33 on the scoreboard. It's a 21-point advantage. They're on pace to score 132 points. Listen, in their last game, Wilcox County gave, gave up 39 in the fourth quarter. 39. And now here it is, the first quarter tonight, and they give up 33. If you're their coach, here, you got to, you, you you cannot be happy about your defense right now. No doubt about but it. But Hancock Central, wow. Relentless. We're going to jump out for a quick break. The GHSA Basketball State Championships are brought to you by Georgia Power, a citizen wherever we serve. And we're back here getting ready. First quarter was one of the craziest quarters of basketball I've ever seen here on the high school level. Full court blitz everywhere. Hancock Central, almost everything that they threw up went down. Ended up hitting, I think it was six threes in the opening quarter. And Hancock hey, Central, traveling violation on the pressure. And this one's going to go back to the Bulldogs, who have turned this essentially into a home court advantage. Have the Bulldogs here in the opening frame. And the crowd loves when they pull up for three. A little hesitation, feed down into the low post, get tied up. Great defense. You get a jump ball, so this one's going to stay with Hancock. 7.34 here to go. Quarter number two. 33 points already up on the board for the Bulldogs. Swung around on the rotation to Morris. Now a little J from the baseline. Gets his own rebound after he hits the side of the backboard. Good work for Leroy Wilson. He's got double digits as well to join Taylor. Transition, a hang and bang. Two-handed block by Lawrence. Triple on the miss, and Wilson's got the run out, but he loses the handle. It's going to be poke free. Brown on the other end. Feed underneath. Big man can't All get right, it to go. Make those. Rebound. Carmichael Allen is the outlet, and they want to run. Feed it to the low post. Trying to back him down is Lawrence. Kick out triple. Off the back square does not go. Oh! Oh, my goodness. And a loose ball tip. It. And when it's one of those nights, it's one of those nights, Joe. Coming back to fight for the loose ball was Jamarcus Morris, and he just tipped it into the basket. Kick on back, Jordan Brown. Kick around and little head fake there. Lawrence pressuring it, and now Wilson, triple from Brown, does not go. Good rebound by the Patriots. It's Patriot on Patriot action. And it's a wall. traveling violation. And so look to get us rolling back again. Here is Travion Crate. Full court pressure coming for the Patriots. 25-point deficit here early in the first half. And the Bulldogs are running riot here at the PE Complex at Valdosta State. Creighton on the ball. NBA range. Oh, my goodness. Everything they throw up, I think, is going in, Joe. It is unbelievable. Their shooting form from deep is, yeah. is incredible. Yeah. And I agree with you 100%. It looks like everything they're throwing up in deep is going in. Yeah, it's just one of those nights. They're just on it. This is a good shooting team and poke free. And this print sure is relentless. In transition, gets his own handle back. And this one's going to be poke free back to the Patriots underneath. So a little bit of wild possession, a little hot potato. These teams played back and forth. 
as they poke the ball free to each other. Here's so the Patriots going to get the loose ball. Throwing out to the perimeter, Tisdall, and now from the elbow, a little turn, hang and bank, does not go. Rebound underneath. Good fight by the big man. Back, it doesn't go. Triple from the left side, does not go. Tisdell, it will be fouled off the rebound. So still outside of bonus territory. They'll tag number 10. Travion Creighton up with the personal. His first, fifth team foul. So still another one to give for both teams. Both teams sitting at five team fouls. Of course, seven will get you into the bonus. That's Triple from, from Brown, NBA. near side. That one doesn't go. And fighting for the 50-50 ball there. And it stays with Wilcox. It was Chris Abian Marshall fighting in there with Jamarcus Morris. So the tie-up is going to stay with Wilcox, like we said. Next one, obviously, going to Hancock. Little pro hop, left hand, good shield on the body control. Shot doesn't go. This one jars free in front of the Bulldog bench. Travion Creighton, nice little scale. Triple near side. Side rim does not go. Rebound corralled there by Patterson. He's got a full head of steam into the front court. One on three. Look at the pro hop. Beats the double team. And gets the basket. Gets the basket and the foul. Great bucket by Patterson. And the conversion to go with the jump stop, Joe. Draw the foul, and they say defender was not in position. He was also kind of he was kind of also underneath the basket too. And you're not. So they give Quintavious. And you will not you will not get charging nine times out of ten in that area. Quintavious Moss is the man they'll tack up on the foul. His first personal. So six team fouls for the Bulldogs as they've simmered down from behind the arc. Four points scored here in the second quarter. We're about three minutes into this one. On the ball now is Creighton. He's taking some time, trying to get Jordan Brown to come out and chase him. This one, good feed in the paint, little hang and bang, rattles around. How about the big man, Quintavious Moss? Six good foot control. senior, dropping it down. Transition, poke free, and Moss is running the breakout. He's got some help coming with him, but the big man goes coast to coast. And how about your post player with the takeaway? Off the glass, good conversion there. Answer by Patterson. So up and down contest, a deuce both ways. As we approach four minutes to play, and the intensity is back after we fell into a little lull. And illegal it looks like pick. a moving screen. Yeah, legal pick there on Moss. I believe that's going to be Moss's second. And it's a seventh team foul, which is going to put Wilcox into the not, bonus. Not, a, not only will he'll pick. Or sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll pick up the personal, but they won't be shooting. Yeah, mistake, Joe. Good catch. From the free throw line, off the front rim, gets his own rebound, puts it off the glass, and that one goes for Markavian Singletary. Under four minutes to play. 23-point game. It's been an absolute track meet filled with chaos and points and the Bulldogs from Hancock Central pulling from NBA range and making a couple of them. I think six threes so far on the evening for the Bulldogs. And they're gonna get another, another illegal pick. Another one there. That's a third personal on Moss. Now this could be big. This, this might change the momentum a little bit in this game. If you're Wilcox County, you need to get this down to about 12 to 14 before halftime. Yep. And Moss is the contributor with Lawrence on the bench. He's really a big proponent to help this outside in game that they play. Like we were talking about, instead of the inside out game, kind of counter intuitive, but still productive. Hang it back, good take by Patterson, very aggressive. He gets fouled in the process of shooting. He'll head to the free throw line for a deuce. Ninth team foul on the Bulldogs. It's going to be the first personal on Chapman, number 35, Ryan Chapman, the 6'2 senior. First one goes for Patterson. First free throw he's made out here tonight. Five points for him. 319 to go here, second quarter of action. And it's back to. It's a three-touchdown game. Yes, sir. 
back to 21. So good work by Patterson to put it in there. They're gonna extend the defensive pressure. Howard all the way out to midcourt. Guarding Nice Taylor. give and go. Inside the charge. paint. Good feet position there. But and that's, that's the fourth. Is that Moss with the charge? Oh, that's gonna be the fourth that's person huge. on Moss. That's huge. He should have done been out of the game. And so he's taking a break. They had to keep him out there because they were trying to give Lawrence a breather. But to your point, Joe, yeah. The minute he Dangerous. got three, he, he, the minute he got three fouls, he should they coach should have pulled him out right there. Dangerous. So we'll see. Good pass with a no look at the basket. Doesn't get it to go, but luckily there for the putback is Deadman and Tisdale. He's now got seven for the game. So a deuce will cut it to 19 as Wilcox trying to grind it back down and get back into shouting distance. Coming around the edge, good nice. feed underneath, and Lawrence is there. Beautiful put down, but how about the dish by Creighton? A dime and an absolute beauty. Triple from the near side as they trade two for three. Patterson starting to heat up now. He's got eight for the Patriots. Cut it back to an 18-point game. Stop at your play here. Negative Might have been delay. Might have been a warning for delay. So here comes the inbound for the new substitute, Ryan Chapman. Like we said, just picking up the personal. He's got the knee base over on the right knee. Lawrence will gives it to Chapman, who drives from the foul. And good nice. take off the good glass strong. and down. Good strong move to the basket. Chapman, his first points of the ball game. And so to push it back to a 20-point advantage for the Bulldogs. Little three-quarter, but they'll walk it back in the half court. Chapman wants another one. Little heat check here from the near side. Good save by Wilcox. Brown from NBA range, and he drills it. I think he got inspired by Hancock Central, Joe. Back to 17. It's a Time big out. bucket for Wilcox. And it's a full timeout coming for the Bulldogs at Hancock Central. We're going to jump out for a quick break. It's a GHSA presentation of the 1A public semifinal here at Hancock Central and Wilcox County. Who's the best boy? Want to watch some TV? Look, your favorite. You know, your dog doesn't really care if the TV is on. When you think about it, saving energy means saving money. That's why Georgia Power has tips, tools, and rebates to help you be more efficient. For smart, easy ways to save money and energy, visit georgiapower.com. The GHSA Basketball State Championships are brought to you by Georgia Power, a citizen wherever we serve. Here, second quarter. It's winding down. Final two minutes of the opening half here. A thriller. Hancock Central putting on a shooting display in the first half for the ages. Powerful take by Lawrence. And Brown will corral the rebound as it comes away with it for Wilcox. If they can get it down to about 12 by halftime, that'd be huge. Patterson already with a big triple. Floater down the baseline. And they're going to say a charge on Patterson. They're going to cancel the basket. This time, the difference was the Hancock Central player was not underneath the basket. He was able to get that positioning perfect. Not too far from the baseline to allow him to slide by and not too close to the baseline to allow him to just go right around him. That perfect middle ground. So now Taylor on the ball for Hancock Central. He's going to be guarded by Patterson. That was Patterson's first, by the way, if you were wondering. And so fouled on the three-point shot attempt. They tag up Leroy Wilson over here on the near side. So it's going to put him in the bonus, but dangerous for Wilcox as now Howard's got three personals. So Wilson puts the first one through. Of course, he's going to be shooting three free throws. 11 for Wilson already. Second one, oh, every part of the rim, it falls off the front. So 
will stay at 18 points, the margin. 46-28. Both teams shooting the rest of the way here. 65 seconds remaining in this one. So Leroy goes two for three from the line. So bump it up to 19, 47-28. We go sub one minute. Brown going to bring it into the front court. Good feed to Patterson. Got caught up in the air. Two on three, three on three battle underneath the basket, fighting for the rebound. Everybody wants it. Wilson for the triple! And Hancock keeps it rolling. They've broken 50 here in the first half. And a hang of bang. Some blocking foul is what they'll tag up there. Singletary will head to the free throw stripe. And they're going to get the big man, Lawrence. Or excuse me, it was number 35, Chapman. I believe it's his second and is. Of course, already in the double bonus. Wouldn't matter here. This is a shooting foul. With 39.3 seconds to go. First one of two goes for Markavian Singletary, the junior small forward, off the back iron, so he splits the difference. Lawrence will get the rebound over to Taylor. Go under 30 seconds here in the first half. Pressure from Singletary behind the back. Dribble by Taylor. Don't want to give him any space because he can pull from about anywhere on the court. Swung around. Chapman over to the far side in front of the bench. There to Creighton. He'll back off to half court. Try to pick up the pick. Lawrence trying not to get the illegal screen. Oh, Lawrence. He thought about it. Yes, sir. Taylor back on the ball now. Five seconds to go. Goes in the paint. It's a hard foul on Tisdale. It's either Tisdale's second or his third. 3.6 seconds to go in the half. His second. Only second on Tisdale. The senior. So stepping back to the line. Here is Taylor. Two for two on the day. Like we said, 95% free throw shooter. Three for three on the evening. What's the over-under on uh, Taylor missing a free throw tonight, Joe? If you were a betting man, would you take that? No. Him missing one? No. Yeah, his, me neither. His form looks too good. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Full three-quarter court effort. That's going to go into the crowd there for the visitors. And this one is at halftime. It is a monster 23-point lead here for Hancock Central. Like we said, full court blitz to start this one out. 33 points in the first quarter. And then they cooled off a little bit. 19 there in the second quarter. Yeah. But still 23-point advantage into the break. We're going to jump out for commercials here in the NFHS Network presentation of the GHSA Basketball Semifinals. www.nfhnetwork.com slash GHSA. Your destination for comprehensive coverage of the Georgia High School playoff action. To purchase a DVD keepsake today's event, click the blue Get the DVD button directly under your event video player or click the on the buy a DVD button on the top right hand corner of the NHSA network site. You can also click the digital copy button under the event video player to download a digital copy of the event right onto your computer. Today's game is also available for all subscribers via the NFHS network live mobile app for Apple and Android devices. Download the app from the Apple or App Store or Google Play Store today to start watching the games wherever you are. And high school sports fans, don't miss another game. Become a subscriber to the NFHS Network to watch live event coverage, game replays, and highlights from high school sporting events across the country. Millions of athletes, thousands of games, one destination, the NFHSnetwork.com. We are high school. Andrew Jeep Joe Ward here from the PE Complex of Edosa, Georgia. Halftime, Bulldogs over the Patriots, 23-point lead in the 1A Public Boys semifinal, the last game of the night here from Valdosta State. Who's the best boy? Want to watch some TV? Look, your favorite. You know, your dog doesn't really care if the TV is on. When you think about it, saving energy means saving money. That's why Georgia Power has tips, tools, and rebates to help you be more efficient. For smart, easy ways to save money and energy, visit georgiapower.com. 
The GHSA Basketball State Championships are brought to you by Georgia Power, a citizen wherever we serve. The GHSA Basketball State Championships are brought to you by Georgia Power, a citizen wherever we serve. Who's the best boy? Wanna watch some TV? Look, your favorite. You know, your dog doesn't really care if the TV is on. When you think about it, saving energy means saving money. That's why Georgia Power has tips, tools, and rebates to help you be more efficient. For smart, easy ways to save money and energy, visit georgiapower.com. The GHSA Basketball State Championships are brought to you by Georgia Power, a citizen wherever we serve. Who's the best boy? Wanna watch some TV? Look, your favorite. You know, your dog doesn't really care if the TV is on. When you think about it, saving energy means saving money. That's why Georgia Power has tips, tools, and rebates to help you be more efficient. For smart, easy ways to save money and energy, visit georgiapower.com. The GHSA Basketball State Championships are brought to you by Georgia Power, a citizen wherever we serve. Who's the best boy? Wanna watch some TV? Look, your favorite. You know, your dog doesn't really care if the TV is on. When you think about it, saving energy means saving money. That's why Georgia Power has tips, tools, and rebates to help you be more efficient. For smart, easy ways to save money and energy, visit georgiapower.com.
And welcome back to the PE Complex here in Valdosta, Georgia, here at Valdosta State. Furious first half filled with points galore. Of course, combining for 81, 52 of them going to Hancock Central. Of course, shot the lights out, so it seemed. In the opening quarter, 33 hit six first half triples. Absolute bonanza. Defense relentless. The highest octane team I may have seen in a couple years, but they put on quite a show. Here, a team that's averaging 72 points per game. Full head of steam. Give up and under. And that one, first shot attempt does not go. And going to be blocked underneath. And the Hancock Central faithful want a foul, but Brown's going to come away with this one. Patterson on the take inside the paint. Feed down long two with the foot on the line. Does not go. Battling for it. It's like a tip drill over there. It's almost comical on the far side. It was Kasabian Marshall was battling with Leroy Wilson, but they both kept getting enough piece of the ball or just kept tipping up, then up, then up, then up. And up, and, and up, and up, and up. Hancock Central will have ball. And it's going to be a personal here on Marshall, Kasabian Marshall. Patterson, it's a triple far side, and that one's long. There for Creighton. It's going to foul back here in the backcourt. Block and foul are going to tag up Markavian Singletary. Or excuse me, they're going to tag up uh, Bernard Chapman, Hancock Central. So Jordan Brown back into the play, take us up to the front court, give it to Patterson, and this one's poke free. Leroy Wilson with a little hesitation, tries to get it back to the right hand, loose ball, it's poke free, and then rejected, both from the same player, Desmond Tisdall. Great movement in the open space. Mark Avian Singletary with the deuce in transition. Gets it back to a 21 point game, 52 to 31. So first team to score here in half. Number two goes to Wilcox. Fed on over at the extended elbow there was Chapman. Give on out, thought about the triple, swinging back around. Leroy Wilson over here near side, trying to set up the triple, and that well, one's good. But net. Darius Walker lures him into the trap and hits the three over the top. 7-3 of the ball game. Jordan Brown splits the double team. Good little bit of control. Patterson with a step back. That one's partially blocked. Good effort by Tisdale, but it's Leroy Wilson. And this one's going to be a layup off the glass. Thought we were going to get some showmanship from Creighton there, but he goes with the easy basket to make sure he gets that one. And got caught up in the air. And had to grab a hold was Chapman as he bought the pump fake. So a wild, dangerous looking one, but everybody looks no everybody worse looks for fine. wear. He's going to head Chapman to the free throw line. Singletary, excuse me, Markavian Singletary. The junior small forward. And that conversion is up and in as he hits the front end of his two free throws. Singletary. Now with six in the game, second one. Nice basket for him. So two for two from the line. And that's what you need if you're Wilcox County. Chip away when you can. Gonna need some big defensive stops. You gotta make sure Bulldogs don't keep raining the triples. Stop and pop from the foul line off the dribble. Rebound's gonna go Tisdall. Outlet here to Brown. It's a three on two if he wants to use it. Patterson back to Brown in front of the Wilcox bench. Deep triple. Already hit one like that, and he Run doubles. Another. Doubles the Delight Browns up to 10. Like we said, I feel like he got inspired by Hancock Central. He's hit now two NBA range. His heels were on the S of the Blazers logo. Outside of the coach's box. In traffic. Good defense. Brown, he's got a two-on-one with Patterson. He'll pull up once another triple. Heat check. And that one's a little short. That one's tough to do with the full head no, of steam. That that's one's a, tough. You're better off taking that to the hole. Yeah. And that's a tough one. So we'll get it rolling once again. Back to a 21-point game. 
Thrown over into the corner. Cycle back around. Into lane, kick out. Nice little exterior elbow shot. Does not go for Chapman. Kennard Chapman, the 5'10 senior. This one's poked free. Last touch by Wilcox. And so it'll stay with the Bulldogs. Oh, thought about pulling that one was Walker. Just hit a triple a couple minutes ago. Rejected. Jordan Brown in transition to Patterson. Up and under. Good control. Good move. And he goes to the basket with two hands, Joe. Love the technique. Avoids it and blocks. Good basket in transition by Patterson. So now back into the front court. Controlled here by Creighton. He's going to go cross-court dribble and cycle back around. and Timeout, Hancock Central. Get a little stop to play, talk things over, collect, organize, get it rolling. It's a 9-5 to five advantage for Hillcox in the quarter with 4.27 remaining here in the frame of action. I want to remind you that you're watching live coverage of the GHSA basketball semifinals on the NFA Just Network. NFHSNetwork.com slash GHSA is your destination for the most comprehensive coverage of Georgia High School playoff action. Today's game is also available for all subscribers via the NFHS Network Live mobile app for Android and Apple devices. Download the app at the Apple Store or Google Play Store today. Start watching live games wherever you are. 427 here, third quarter of action. Hancock Central having a field day out here, just shooting it up, and it seems like almost everything's going in. Off the back square. And that's kind of an illustration of there. Good little stop and pop, though. Light for Chapman. Oh, a leak out. Back door left open by the Bulldogs. And a conversion off the glass dam. Good little piece of transition work there. And Singletary makes him pay. This one. Good bit of a hand check. There. It's a... Hit up with the foul. Could be out on the floor, of course. They're going to get Patterson, his second personal. So inbound into the backcourt for Taylor, who was absolute dynamite in half number one, shooting from the field. A couple from NBA range. Some twos that almost threes. Just crazy baskets as well. Is it tie up? Tie up, jump ball. And this one's gonna go back to Wilcox on the alternating possession. So they got it down to 19 right now. Try to continue to build some momentum. Wanna keep it under 20. Obviously gotta chip away at this. There's still plenty of time in this ball game. Brown wants another deep one. This one hits the front ramp, poke free. Leroy Wilson with a run out. The jam, oh no! Didn't get the basket, but it's a foul. I don't think it went down. So of course, no replay. But it's an interesting call, and the referees have a dilemma. Because it looked like it went down and snapped back out. So give him the basket and shoot one or no basket. And they're going to call it an intentional foul. Ah. I don't know about that part of it. Interesting. So a curious development here. I guess with the run out and the obvious foul is they're saying that they but knew he was going to go to the basket, knew he was going to flush it. And so he just tried to take him out, tried to make it look like a foul. So that's why they get him with the intentional, says the referees. It's going to be the first personal on Jordan Brown. He's been grinding out here. So it's the two free throws. They did not count the basket for the record. And now it will be possession of the ball here for Hancock Central, as is policy on the intentional foul. Take to the basket, does not go. Good defense there by Marshall. Outlet to Brown. He's going to kick it out of the corner to Patterson. And he'll pull the triple. Quick one. Marshall putting in some work, trying to get the rebound. Leroy Wilson, who just shot the free throws, going to corral the rebound on the defensive end. Behind the back dribble. 
Good little piece of skill here for Creighton. Bucket at the basket. And Creighton, a gorgeous display of some individual flash. Love his stuff. A lot of talented dudes on this club. And how about Patterson on the other side? Strong move. Every time they get a big basket, does Hancock Central. Wilcox rolls down the court, tries to get a big answer. That one was a good conversion by Patterson. Keeping him in shouting distance at 21. Kick back triple. Front iron does not go. Rebound. Wilson in the lane. He'll tag on two more. And Wilson having a big second half. Brown's going to take the ball, throw it over to the corner to Patterson. Thought about the triple. Head fake. One takes it inside. High off the glass. Tough angle. Doesn't get it to go. Rebound. Wilson fighting for it. And he corrals the loose ball as we approach two minutes to play here in quarter number three. A little stop and pop in the lane. How about the lefty for Taylor? And it's back up to 25. Going to get a little stoppage as Coach is going to call a quick T.O. Here for Wilcox County. Coach Bloodsworth wants a full timeout. So we're going to bounce out here with him on the GHSA 1A public semifinal. Wilcox and Hancock Central here on the NFHS Network. Who's the best boy? Want to watch some TV? Look, your favorite. You know, your dog doesn't really care if the TV is on. When you think about it, saving energy means saving money. That's why Georgia Power has tips, tools, and rebates to help you be more efficient. For smart, easy ways to save money and energy, visit georgiapower.com. The GHSA Basketball State Championships are brought to you by Georgia Power, a citizen wherever we serve. Back here from the PE complex, crowd is fired up, especially if you're with Hancock Central. 25 point advantage here in the semifinal. Opening up a spread big time in the first quarter and holding on to it. And this one's gone full throttle both ways. Jordan Brown, coast to coast, right off the round, does not go. Put back. And the conversion is up and in for Tisdall. And so nice quick basket. Wilcox tries to poke that one free. And it was off Wilcox. I'd say last touched there by the Patriots. So inbound coming for the Bulldogs. This one's going to be intercepted by Brown over to the far side. Patterson triple on the far side. Rouse around does not go. Good board underneath. The putback with the left hand is good by Howard. And so a little mini run going. Got it back to 21. Triple near side. That one was a little bit of a heat check. Hit the uh, shot clock for Valdosta State that they use. So, of course, no shot clock needed at the high school. high school level, but of course the shot clock is still there and ruled as part of the extracurricular basket. And so they will take it off and it's out of play. Fed underneath and the foul, the big man. Oh, the Leroy. Markavius Lawrence with the basket underneath. But Wilson bringing the ball down from the court. <laughs> wow. Yes, sir. So it's going to send Lawrence to the free throw stripe. You know, the big center trying to get through the old-fashioned way. Got to love a big man that can hit some free throws. Big time stuff. Get him to 70. 24-point lead. Set the paint. Kick out to the corner. Brown, deep triple. We've heat him set two of those already. Outlet, open uh -oh. floor, Wilson, Tomahawk, and that gets the Bulldogs going. And they say raise the roof and the crowd will oblige. A big flush for Leroy Wilson, under a minute to go. Baseline jumper doesn't go. Patterson collects the loose ball. He'll take it with the left hand, an elbow pass, and that one is out of play. And we'll go back to the Bulldogs. And this is a high-flying machine. Hancock Central, 72 points here. Will Sterling, quarter number three. 
Jamal Taylor. Of course, if they want to, they're going to hold for the last shot. As we said, no shot clock here on the high school level in the state of Georgia. Jordan Brown guarding Taylor defensively. He's picking him all the way up, back at the depth level of the center circle. And it makes me think that that's still in his range. So we'll get Lawrence out of the way. Wants a little ISO with 10 seconds to go. Taylor protects the ball in the lane. Does not go. Punches it back out. Four seconds. Wilson thought about the triple. Drives baseline and gets fouled. And so Wilson tries to pump up the crowd. And once again, they oblige. He's like a conductor out there, James. At any point that he wants to get the crown ball to throw down the dunk, hit a deep three, wave his arms in the air, and the Hancock crowd is like, I got you. And so are we looking at another intentional here, Joe, or what's the scenario? The referees discussing. As, of course, Wilson was flat. It was. Intentional foul. This time it's going to be on Tisdale. Of course, one on Tisdale, one on Brown so far. So Wilson will shoot it. So there's zero... 0.2 seconds remaining. We can't show you decimals, so that's why we had the one second on the board just to indicate there is time remaining in the half. But it will be two free throws and the basketball for Hancock Central. First one goes down for Wilson. Second one rattles home as well. And so it's possession of the ball. Double intent. Oh, technicals. It was two technicals. So it's on the other side. So this one's going to go to Jordan Brown as they offset. Of course, dealer's choice on the free throw. As Brown will hit that one. Gets that one through. So it'll be 47. And 48 for the Patriots. And then it goes to an alternate possession. On the jump ball. So, yes, good beat of housekeeping. Appreciate it, Joe. I only heard them say the second one as the crowd erupted. We only heard the one called on Wilcox. So, of course, Wilcox with the alternating possession. Look at this one. They throw it up, the expiration of the quarter. So we are through three. Here at the PE Complex, all Hancock Central, 26-point advantage. We're going to jump out for a quick break. Come right on back with the NFHS Network presentation of GHSA 1A Public Semifinal. Here from the PE Complex at Valdosta State University. Bulldogs lead the Patriots by 26. Andrew Duke, Joe Ward, come right on back. Who's the best boy? Want to watch some TV? Look, your favorite. You know, your dog doesn't really care if the TV is on. When you think about it, saving energy means saving money. That's why Georgia Power has tips, tools, and rebates to help you be more efficient. For smart, easy ways to save money and energy, visit georgiapower.com. The GHSA Basketball State Championships are brought to you by Georgia Power, a citizen wherever we serve. Back here getting ready for corner number four to get underway. Here's our final quarter of action here on a Friday night here in class 1A. The fourth of four semifinals. We've seen two girls and this is our second boys matchup. Hancock Central will start the ball to begin the frame. Lawrence down the baseline. Taylor going to come help out the big man. He's going to take it in the paint. Left hand finish at the cup. Tries to put back does Lawrence. Power dribble. Gets caught underneath the basket. Brown's going to get the outlet. Shovel back around. Triple near side. Does not go for Howard. Outlet for Taylor. Lawrence Wide in the open. open court. And he gets the lob to the big man. But a good little piece of athleticism. Gets him on the oop, doesn't dunk it, but able to put it in the basket in the air. Up and down ball game going here. Walker with the ball will give it back 
to the quick Jamal Davis. Now it's Darius Walker. Triple, and that one's going to be poke free. Jordan Brown on the ball now. Throwing over the corner. Patterson triple in front Got of his it. own bench. Got the triple there. They break the 50 mark. Cut it back to 25 point deficit here, quarter number four. Brown's a baller, man. He's still grinding it out. Absolutely. Of course, with the whole rest of the team, Patterson, Singletary, Tisdale, all the boys for the Patriots, which you love to see in a state semifinal. You don't get all this way on accident, Joe. Nope. And when you beat people like Wilkinson in the Elite Eight and in the manner they did, you're, you're a good ball club. Absolutely. But the... But tonight, they have just met a buzz. They've run into a buzzsaw. Absolutely. No doubt about that, my man. Of course, both of these teams knocking off 1A public royalty. Like we were saying in the ball, uh, previous in the broadcast, of course, since 1A public was established in 2013, the only two teams that have won the championship were Wilkinson County and Calhoun County. And Wilkinson was knocked off in the last round here by Wilcox. And the others said Calhoun, the reigning champs, were was taken down. Was knocked off by Hancock Central. Yep, by Hancock Central. And so, so thus opening the door. We're going to have a new champion Wednesday night. Yes, sir. We should be good. It's going to be good for this classification. Really will be. Yep. And we can see the way both these teams have been fighting out here tonight, exactly why they were able to knock those teams off. Two quality ball clubs. And this has the feel of a final to it here in the semifinal. Patterson wants another one. That one long. Rebound going to get a hold of as Lawrence. 25 point advantage here for the Bulldogs. Walker, dump it down to the big man. Lawrence trying to go to work. Kick it back out, looking to reset. Smart play. Go inside the paint, good baseline take. And Walker. Like I said, smart play. <laughs> Walker with the two hands, going to the basket, protects the ball, throws it off the glass, and good. Take to the basket, left hand a little strong, and it's touched by Howard as he was standing out of play. So this one's going to be back to the Bulldogs. That inbound coming here. Taylor's going to be the trigger man. Gets it into Creighton. And back to Taylor. He'll bring it up over on the far side with the left hand. Back to Crane. Bounces it in. Nice feed to Lawrence. And he uses the basket to shield the defender. Great up and under. And athletic Lawrence. He's a great asset to dump it down into here for the Bulldogs. We've seen the perimeter game. And Jordan Brown with a dribbling clinic. But a little <laughs> too much. Yep. You wonder why he was able to shake them all down. This was going to go back to the Bulldogs. And so Taylor, once again, bringing the ball up. 29-point game. And at one point, Hancock Central was on pace to break 140. So they've cooled off there. And it looks like they want to take the air out of the ball. So we talked about whether or not they would break 100, Joe. It looks unlikely. Here with under five minutes to play. I think at this point, fourth. I think at this point it won't matter. Yeah, they realize what's up. They're they know what's up ahead. They know what lies ahead now. And you can see them sharpening up on stuff because they've had a really concerted effort of dumping it down to the big guys. And it's like they're trying to work on that part of their game because we know what they can do up tempo. We know what they can do a perimeter. It's almost like if they were forced into a half-court game, that's what they're working on right now. Foul on the floor. Because it's almost guaranteed Wednesday night, Trutland with Terry and Mitchell. Oh, yeah. Uh, Hancock Central better get ready, for this is going to be an inside game. Yep, they're going to have to have some post battles for sure. Some big boys on that Trutland squad. They can make some magic happen in the paint. 
And like we said, Mitchell can shoot from the perimeter too from Trutland. We saw him earlier today. And of course, Leroy Wilson is a, <laughs> has NBA distance. He may have. That'd be interesting to see what his collegiate offers and he look like. Because he is such a versatile player. He would be fun to watch on the next level for sure. Came in the night averaging over 16 a game. And we can see why he's back at it again here, the junior. This one's out underneath. It's going back to the Bulldogs. There was 4.05 to play. This one in the front court of Taylor. Trying to break down his defenseman. Triple, long one off the front iron, does not go. Loose ball being fought after here by Carmichael Allen. Coming back to chase it down though. Still love the effort, Christian Freeman in there. Yeah, running around like a crazy man. You know, Wilcox is not gonna throw in the towel. They're gonna, they're gonna keep playing hard and that's what you want them to do. Mm -hmm. I mean a crazy man in the most respectful sense. Mm -hmm. it means with a lot of energy and ferocity. Because he's because one thing, if you're Wilcox County's coach, you still want to you in a game like this, you still want to see who wants to play, who yeah. wants to fight to the end. No doubt, you've got an undefeated season going right now, 27 and 0. You've got a nine, you got a gigantic nine-man senior class, and so you want to get that going and make sure that they get all that they can, because for a lot of these guys, just. This, this is, is the it. end of the road. Swung on around, back up top. Like we said, Bulldogs just bleeding the clock. Spreading with the four corners. And then number one, Darius Walker is kind of the floater. He's kind of working the middle line right now. And basically, good, good decision here by Hancock Central. They got the lead. Just, just go ahead and just melt the clock here, shorten the game up now. And I think it's a wide move because a lot of times if you try to if it, you try it, to really put it on a team, things can get physical and chippy and And then I guarantee you it will come back somewhere down the road on you. Yep. This stuff like this won't. Yep. It always goes around. And we have a foul underneath here on the take for Taylor. Things have a way of working themselves out. But that Hancock Central Central game Wednesday night, like I said, it's going to be battle at the inside. Whose inside game, whose inside game works better, will win championship. Yes, sir. And I think it kind of evens out because Mitchell Mitchell's got some distance with his stroke. We know Leroy Wilson has NBA distance. That's going to be a fun game Wednesday night. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I mean, if Hancock Central is shooting like they shot tonight, they're going to be a very tough handle for Trutland. And they could play. I haven't seen much outside of Georgia and Florida basketball this year, Joe. But based on what we saw here tonight, they can run with pretty much anybody in the country as far as I'm concerned if they play the way they played this evening. There's only about one team in Georgia that I've seen. It's similar to Hancock Central, and that's America Sumter. Christian Freeman with the basket there for the Patriots. To cut the margin a little bit up here, but the Bulldogs, like we said, content. Oh, he was already out of bounds, was Freeman. So it's a good save, but already stepped on the end line. So it's going to be an inbound out underneath. It should be a Bulldog basketball. As we start to have some fans file out here, just over two minutes. I think pretty much everyone is realistic on the outcome of this ball game. 
A couple fans sticking it out here. What you gotta appreciate. The opportunity, clearing out the bench here. Coach is setting up, whoa, deep three. Oh gosh! And everybody's got some, so you got the starters. They were content with where they were. But you got Jalon Hatcher off the bench, says, I want in this three party. Puts it foul. back up to a 30 point spread. He shot that <laughs> from what it looked like to be the attack lane line on, on, volley, on the volleyball court. <laughs> Yeah, he wasn't quite that far, but yeah, he was a good four or five feet off the line for sure. And a new substitution coming in here, Jontavius Robertson with a big old grin. And that's what it's about. Get some of these other guys into the ball game. Carmichael Allen, number two, number 11, Jamarcus Morris, number 22, like we said, Jalen Hatcher hit the big three, Jontavius Robertson. These are the guys that help you get here. Cool to see them being rewarded. Oh, yes. Devin Ivey also on the court. Those are the five for Hancock Central. Look at Freeman, full stretch dive going back to the basketball. And if you're the coach, you got to appreciate that. No doubt. Down 30, and you got people still diving for loose balls. And on the other side, it's Alex Ramsey, number 22 for Wilcox County. Logan McSwain, number 44. Like we said, Christian Freeman, the guy who just went full stretch after the basketball. Number 10, Jaquel Crowder. He's also in the mix. Alex Ramsey, number 22. A takeaway here for Hancock. And Freeman, oh, and a shot to the ribs right on the stands there. That's a rough hit. And that's going to be a foul, obviously, on Freeman. Oof. That was a slam going into the bottom mm -hmm. of the stand, man. That was rough. So they're going to say common foul on the push for Freeman. They get a stoppage of play here as the young men were set up at the free throw line with a call them off. It's Deontay Lowe, the man that was fouled. And he, just in case he got the wind knocked out of him, I think coach calls a timeout here just to get some... Uh, him to catch a breather here. It's Deontay Lowe, an opportunity for the 5 5 freshman to get on the score sheet here. As we start to hear the barks from the Bulldog faithful, Hancock Central. Loading up is low from the free throw stripe. Front rim, oh, two shots at the front rim, just short for low. The only freshman in this game for either team. It's a pass on out, and that one last touch by the Bulldogs. So inbound coming for Freeman. Jaquel Crowder is going to bring the ball up. Also, Curtis LaFleur in the mix for the Patriots. And he gets the rebound. Good board by LaFleur. Oh, a little through the legs for the big man. Shot attempt does not go. Looks like a pick up the foul. Here with 1.15 to go down the stretch for the final quarter. So it'll be the eighth team foul here on Hancock Central. First personal of... Devin Ivey. Good look free throw stroke from the mm -hmm. big man. We saw the little control he had as he goes through the legs. It's not orthodox per se, but it's at least fluid. And up by the scorer's table. And it's going to be a tie up and the alternating possession for Wilcox. And going to get teed up for some extracurriculars. And so it's going to be a technical foul on the Bulldogs. You don't want to see stuff like this. Yeah. But you know, you got both teams 
you got their reserves in the game here. They, they want to impress the coach, play hard, and sometimes it, sometimes the emotions kind of get away. Naturally, it gets a little chippy with this kind of spread on the game right now. But, yeah, we'll look to reset. They'll calm down. Of course, we'll shoot some free throws. Excuse me, we'll get the inbound, my mistake. And we're off and rolling. Triple, and that one's gonna hit the backboard, does not go. Rebound, once again, by LaFleur. Second board, and a basket for him. So the big man Good with job. three, out here in the late stages. Triple from the near side, just off the mark. For Ivy, take away, good steal. As the reserve still fighting for the Bulldogs. Triple, this one's deep, side iron. Does not go. 39.4 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter from the PE complex of Valdosta State. As it stands for the large bar to have cleared out. Mostly Bulldogs in the house right now. Though a good showing from the Patriots over there on the far side. Triple! Good shot. From the near side, Crowder is on the board. So another young man getting a tally up on the score sheet. But cool to see. He'll remember this one going to the semifinal. Launches another one, does low. Rebounds coming the other way for Faison. Andre Faison, new substitute for the Patriots. Rebound, almost stolen away, but recollected. Give underneath, and this one last touched and out of play. So 2.4 seconds remain in the ball game, and inbound will be do it. See if they want to go for a buzzer beater or no. And it goes all the way to the hoop and a block to end the ball game as he tries to dunk it. Alex Ramsey on the rejection to finish off the game, and that's all she wrote. We are all final here from the P complex of Valdosta State. 83-259, your final. The Bulldogs advance here with a 24-point victory. Like we said, they will be playing Central Talbotton on March 4th, 8 p.m. at the Macon Centerplex for the state championship. And that's going to be good. In 1A public. It's a high-octane affair. And the Bulldogs pumping the crowd up. And they'll have a party tonight. They'll be able to celebrate for the rest of the weekend. A long weekend here with the Friday night game. So they'll be able to enjoy this one into the early part of March. And the Bulldogs going to come back in one more game on the season. But a fun one to see out here. An electric ball club to watch for the Bulldogs. And they're going to be one tough out for Trutland no Wednesday. Doubt. No doubt about it. No doubt about it, my man. No doubt about it. And so we'll go forward for Trutland. Yes, my mistake. I said uh, Central Talbot, but that was on the girls' side mm -hmm. that they advanced. So my mistake. Yes, Trutland will be their opponent on March 4th. And that's all she wrote here from the PE Complex. Andrew Jupe, Joe Ward, thank you for coming aboard with us here for the NFH's presentation of the GHSA 1A Public State Semifinal. Have a good rest of the weekend. And if you're looking for some more basketball, we'll have the 3A guys and girls tomorrow here, 2, 4, 6, and 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Back at the PE Complex. Same squad will be giving you the action here on the NFHS Network. But thank you for coming aboard. Andrew Duke, Joe Ward, everybody here at the NFHS Network and the GHSA presentation of the 1A State Semifinals.